Agriculture is one of the key sectors. One, it's really for food security also as a country. We want to be able to take care of our Namibians. If we have another COVID, we should be able to feed our Namibians. And the borders are closed. We must be able to feed our Namibians comfortably without stressing, oh my gosh, where the potatoes going to come from. And what you've seen is, again, market access. I can grow my potatoes, but who do I sell it to? And we've got 2.5 million people, but we've got access to the European market, we've got access to the whole of Africa. You see now that our grapes are not only selling in Namibia, they, they, should, they were never even produced for the Namibian market. The Namibian market is now, is now taking the grapes. But we, when Europe doesn't have grapes, guess who's supplying Europe with grapes is a Namibian grape. So at the right time, we're harvesting our grapes, and the grapes are able to be sold in, 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 in Europe. And then we take our dates. Our dates are also going to the UAE, to the Middle East, and there we are selling um, our dates there. Number three is our blueberries, a new industry now. And even our blueberries, also at the right time, it's going to Europe. So it's looking at agriculture and saying, what can we export? What are some of the high value fruits that we can export as a country? Make those sector, make the sector productive. You see, we've got a lot of people that are employed in the agricultural sector, but not a lot of value is coming from that, you know, from the people. So how can we make the sector more productive, that we are not only able to take care of Namibia, but we are able to export products that we, you know, we haven't seen coming from Namibia. 